few additional exterior custom features. New exhaust uh, with MagnaFlow pipes. Nice warm throaty sound, not too loud. We've got LEDs in the rear. These are activated by a switch on the dash, so if you want to light up behind you at night, especially driving on a trail, those are very useful. Original North America spec rear bumper. And then we believe, as noted in the ad, that this may have been a port of entry car. Either way, at some point it's had the aluminum top added. One of the few that has an actual tailgate and a lift gate. So these are all keyless entry, so we have actuators built into the back but the rear tailgate opens front runner outfitters drawer system is here and then the upper lift gate lifts up on nice little hydraulic arms those were custom built so it's kind of nice to have both it's actually very helpful when you're out in the woods and camping we've taken this beast on many adventures love the drawer system i currently have all my camera gear in it and of course the winch remote it's on ball bearings and it pulls out all the way. Holds tons of weight so you can load it up full. We've got soundproofing underneath here and then the original factory rubber mat that we cut to fit the back area so that it doesn't go over the wheel wells. And then we mounted the drawer on top of that. What it does is it leaves the back more level and then we had the back all recarpeted with a more durable boat style carpet so that you can get it dirty and clean it or hose it off if needed. While we're in the inside, I'll show you all the new trims. This piece has to be retightened down. It's just come loose in the corner here, but we have all the correct, uh, these are actually purchased from Maasai in the UK, correct window trims, rear window trims, speaker grills for the North America uh, vehicles, and then of course the custom speakers as part of the sound system. Uh, full Alcantara suede headliner with uh, LED dome lighting. This has both red and white options and it's activated by the doors when they open. Custom cutouts for the hinges for the tailgate or the lift gate, as well as custom panels that we had built to cover the holes where normally the windows would be since this particular top, as you can see, does not have upper windows, which I kind of like. Backup cameras mounted right up there and it's sealed with a little ring here so we don't get water inside. Works great. Let's go ahead and show you the rest of the interior while we're at it. So every inch of the interior has been soundproof with uh, some very high-end audio quality, uh, different layers of soundproofing. We have some neoprene, some lead-lined soundproofing, um, some mesh stuff, all the doors. Uh, are fully soundproofed and then re-wrapped. They're much heavier than standard Defender doors. They open and close, nice, tight, and solid. And they're very quiet. The tunnel and the bulkhead are all wrapped. Underneath the seat boxes is all wrapped in soundproofing. As you can see, North America spec, center console with automatic transmission. We leather wrap the top to give it a little extra touch. Some cleaning supplies in there. And then we added the cup holders as well. Got some areas for your phone or other devices up here. And then we added multiple uh, sources to plug in your devices. So you've got a USB on this side, you've got a matching one on this side, and you've got one in the dash that activates the Apple CarPlay system in the Sony unit. Custom console was built for us. It was custom molded, as you can see, to fit the original factory clock, to fit the Sony unit so that it sits flush instead of tilted down, power windows, heated seats, heated windshield. This activates the fog lights and of course the hazard switches. Everything works as it should. AC system was recently installed, blows ice cold, and the uh, extra speakers were added in here. We also added some extra speakers in the center console, which is kind of a unique setup. It gives it a little bit of a fuller sound. I like it. And as you'll see in the photos, there's a subwoofer underneath this seat. Uh, and amplifiers and then dual batteries underneath this seat. And the amplifiers are actually behind all this unit back here. They're not under the seat to be clear on that. There's your LED dome light. The top of the dash was wrapped. This is actually a matching black vinyl. Goes with the door wraps and the center armrest wrap. Give you a better shot of the headliner here. All of the door seals were replaced. Um, we ended up with uh, some really neat features 
These are floor mats, even though they don't have the little uh, the little pins that go in here to grab them. These are floor mats out of a newer Defender out of the UK. And these are actually called the Adventure Edition seats, the two-tone perforated leather seats uh, out of a 2013 Defender uh, that we actually purchased uh, in the UK as well and took most of the interior components out of. So that gives it a much more modern, updated look. Looks and feels and sounds like a Range Rover when you're inside, much quieter and more sophisticated than any Defender we've ever built. And the only thing we left original that I've debated upgrading is going with a newer style, smaller diameter steering wheel. We've done that on other builds, but this is the original steering wheel to this car. So we left it. New Speedo. Uh, you can see the mileage since the rebuild is 1,152. I've been driving around today shooting photos and videos. And these gauges do have LED lights behind them now, so they're a little bit brighter in the evening when it's dark out. As most people know, the gauges and defenders are pretty dismal. Let's go ahead and pop the hood. I'll show you under the front. <laughs> 